Yo, what is going on guys? It is AJ Bantz here. Welcome back to the channel or welcome to the channel if you are new around here. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to use the DualShock 4 and the DualSense controller on your PC to play Splitgate. I've got two methods for you guys today, so hopefully if one doesn't work, then the other one should. So let's jump into the PC and I'll show you guys how it's done. Okay, so method number one will be using big picture mode in Steam. So all you're going to want to do is go ahead, open up Steam, and then we're going to click on big picture mode up here in the top right corner. Okay, once big picture mode is open, we're going to come over here to the settings cog. We're going to click on that and go down to controller settings. You want to make sure you have PlayStation configuration support ticked, which means it is turned on. And you should be able to see your controller detected down here at the bottom. I have got my controller connected wirelessly via Bluetooth to my PC. So it's picked that up fine. And you'll see if I click a button, as you just saw, it will change to the controller input. So to actually play the game, what we're going to do is we're going to go back, go back again. And then we're going to go into our library. We'll click on recent because I've been playing it recently. If you haven't been playing it recently, you can just go down to games and scroll through until you find it. You're going to go ahead and click on the game. And then before you click play, just go to manage game, controller options, and then make sure you've got global settings, PS, turn on. And then it's up to you if you want your rumble feature turned on or off. I prefer to have it off just because it's a bit annoying when you're playing competitively. And then from there, what you need to do is go ahead and launch the game. And you should be good to go with the PS5 controller. And as you can see by the input on the screen, it is now registering the controller. It does have the Xbox buttons and unfortunately there is no way that I know of to fix this. But no matter what method you use, you're going to get the Xbox buttons. So you just have to deal with that. Also, before you can actually jump in and play a game, we're going to go ahead and click on settings. So you're going to use your create button. You're going to go down to settings and you want to scroll over to gameplay and make sure input is set to controller on here as well. Not keyboard and mouse because if it's set to keyboard and mouse, it will still allow you to use your controller in this screen. But once you get into a game, the control will stop working and it will require you to use your keyboard and mouse. So yeah, make sure that is enabled and you'll be good to go. Now the exact same steps apply for the PS4 controller. I'll show you guys really quick so you can see it actually does work. Okay, so we've got the PS4 controller plugged in. The only reason that I have plugged this one in and I'm not using um, Bluetooth is because I haven't got it set up on Bluetooth currently. So I'm just going to go ahead and plug it in. But it will work on Bluetooth the same way the DualSense controller works. I'm going to wait for big picture mode to load up. Again, same thing. Come over here to settings, controller settings. And it should just detect it straight away if you've turned on the PlayStation config support. We can go back, go back again, go into library, back down to games, back down to split gate. We're going to go to manage game, controller options, make sure again this is turned on, global settings, PS for PlayStation. I'll leave my rumble off and we're going to go ahead and just launch the game and I'll show you guys it works exactly the same way. And there you go, we've got the game loaded up. As you can see, the controller input is on screen. Whatever I do on the control, it will mimic on there. Um, and yeah, same thing again, make sure you go into settings. And you've got the input device set to controller. Otherwise, you won't be able to play when you're actually in a game. Okay, now I'm going to show you guys method two, which doesn't use Steam's big picture mode at all. It's actually a third party app that I love because I use it on most games that don't support the DualSense for PC. Uh, and let me just show you guys what I'm talking about. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and open up the DS4 Windows app. I'm going to double click that. Actually, we're going to turn on our Bluetooth as well because we're going to connect our PS5 controller to this first. So we're just going to turn that on. I don't know if you can see the light flashing, but it's instantly connected to DS4 Windows. Now we can just go ahead and open up Splitgate. And as you can see, the controller input has registered. Wherever I click on the control, we'll do the same thing on the screen. DS4 really is just that easy to use. One of my favorite apps for the PC to get controllers working. And the same exact same thing applies for the PS4 controller. I'm not going to go ahead and turn off DS4 Windows because there's really no need. Instead, what I'm going to do is I've literally just disconnected my PS5 controller. I'm going to plug my PS4 controller in now. Uh, just double check, make sure DS4 has picked it up. Yes, it has. And now, as you can see, wherever I click on that, it's doing the same on the screen. So those are the two methods on how to get both the DualSense controller and the PS4 controller working on PC. And by the way, I have a completely separate video on how to download and set up DS4 Windows. If you guys want to go and check that out, it's super easy, super simple to follow. I'll leave it up here somewhere and it'll also be linked down in the description so you guys can check that out. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and turn on bell notifications because I upload videos just like this. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.